I'm Lee Terry from The Middle Ground. The Middle Ground is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that supports online grassroots democracy. We do so by posting your videos on our YouTube channel, um, your videos with your own nonpartisan moderate ideas for improving our lives. The, it's kind of like a grown-up version of TikTok, uh, except uh, not necessarily as entertaining. Although you can be entertaining if you are, even if you are discussing serious stuff, um, like we're going to do today. Um, this is one of our icebreaker videos where we try to start the conversation by exposing you to some interesting ideas we've heard about to address some of these serious problems. The serious problem we're going to talk about today is homelessness, a huge problem in our country. Uh, as we all know, it's out of control. Uh, if you live in any major city, uh, you've seen the ever-increasing uh, tent cities everywhere, especially during the COVID-19 crisis when homeless shelters uh, had to limit the number of people they could take in. But it's been out of control for a long time. And uh, there's a huge homeless community out there. And one of the things that I noted recently when I was watching a story on television when they were interviewing the homeless about some of the problems they were facing nowadays is how they stuck up for each other. They were a community. There was one person saying, well, I'm okay, but uh, you know, the homeless shelter or the government or the police, whoever, are not doing a good job on old Joe. He needs more help and uh, you know, everybody should take care of him. I appreciated that and I, it made me think of about an idea that I've heard before. And the idea is to have the homeless uh, adopt a bootstrap strategy, or what some might call um, a pay-it-forward strategy. Others might call it the Australian strategy. The idea is for homeless people to be allowed to leave major metropolitan areas and go to new homeless communities that are built from the ground up by the homeless themselves. And these, these communities could be built in ghost towns, in places like Kansas and other places where there are towns that have been abandoned for years, but there's still an infrastructure there that could be used as the base. They could be built as satellite cities outside major metropolitan areas uh, by which they're close enough, for example, to access some of the services of the major community, even while building their own community nearby, particularly medical care which is one of the biggest issues for the homeless. You'd have to, if you did this, one of the things that the government would have to provide up front while the city is being built would be to provide a, a bus or some sort of commuter service uh, at a low cost, low cost basis to the major, uh, major uh, uh, metropolitan area nearby and uh, so that the homeless could get uh, uh, the... Uh, medical and other services that they would require during the transition period. But the idea is that we are in a cycle of despair in our major cities right now. The homeless are not getting out of it by us building more homeless shelters or by the police shuffling them off uh, uh, our sidewalks and making them go to some underneath the bridge or whatever it is we are recommending they do. Um, it, it's not working. And these people are most of the time not here because of anything they did. They, for example, may have been uh, maybe veterans with post-traumatic stress syndrome. They could be people who were impoverished by, uh, because by a lack of health insurance and uh, the outrageous retail you know, off the rack medical bills that you face if you're if you have a serious injury or serious illness and you're hospitalized and without insurance. They may suffer from mental illness. They may have become drug abusers, and sometimes through no fault of their own. Uh, the opioid crisis, for example, could have started with a dentist prescription. But the point is, we need to give them a fresh start, and we need to give them the feeling of self-worth and pride that would come with 
being a part of their own community. This is an idea, and you know, it's not unlike the Australian idea. Uh, the Australia, as you may know, Australia was colonized or populated largely by convicts from Great Britain. And it was done, and I should point out those convicts were for the most part guilty of nothing other than being poor. It was a very difficult journey to get there. And it was a very difficult process to build up the country of Australia. But they did so. And I am sure that you cannot find a more patriotic group of people than Australians who believe that they deserve everything they've got and, uh, and worked for it. I think that we can do that with our homies and we, we can build that community. I may be wrong. This may be a terrible idea. Maybe you have a better one. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, all of us at the middle ground would like to hear from you in terms of a great idea you have for addressing the homeless crisis. Um, please post your video and tell us what you think. We are all the middle ground.